I think the SDGs, they represent an opportunity because it is a new way of formulating where we want to take the planet and where we want to take the human society. And in that sense, it's really important to formulate them in a way that are easy to understand and that really means something to people. The MDGs were quite specific and often sector bound. With the SDGs, we have the opportunity to formulate cross-cutting goals that don't necessarily follow the usual boundaries of sectors. This is one of the points of a cross-cutting setup because forests are important throughout the development agenda. They're important for food security, they're important for protecting the environment, they're important for climate change, they're important for the green economy as it's developing. So we can't really place forests in one box. We need to figure out how forests can contribute across the range of sustainable development goals. We often hear about forests being under threat. And yet again, we hear about what I just mentioned, that forests are important across so many different goals. One of the issues is that we can't really find the solutions if we only look at the forests. Take, for example, the big forest fires that we had in Indonesia earlier this year. These fires were there because of agriculture activities. And unless we start working together across forestry and agriculture, we will not find the right solutions. So that's why we argue for a landscape perspective, so that we can find a basis to discuss these common solutions. I think once uh, you step out of a sector approach and discuss this in a more open-ended way, then it becomes very obvious to many people that we have to find solutions across the landscape. And we hear that particularly, I would say, in the evolution of the RED, the reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation discussions. This is mainly under the Climate Change Convention, but it still represents a very big part of the landscape approach that we need. And in this evolution, it is becoming more and more clear that we need to look at the drivers of deforestation. And that means we need to find out how forests and agriculture can coexist and, and with combined solutions. I, I think it's important to recognize that people are a central feature in landscapes. So it's not only about the natural resources as such, and therefore, if we want to measure progress, then we need to figure out how, what makes life better for people. So one of, one of the measures needs to be something around livelihoods, probably income or something about assets um, for farmers and producers in the landscapes. Another issue is, of course, food. And the landscapes produce all our food. So we need to have a measure that tells us the amount and, and quality of food that's being produced. A third one, of course, bringing in the production of food, but also the wider aspects of protecting the environment is ecosystem services. We need to have a, a measure that tells us that the landscapes are doing fine, they're healthy, they can continue to support our livelihoods. Um, and a fourth one, would have to do with the resource efficiency. We need to produce our food in more efficient ways. We can't continue to emit so much greenhouse gases. We can't continue to convert forests to farmlands and thereby emit many greenhouse gases. So resource efficiency would be the fourth one. And if I want to add a fifth one, that would have to do with biodiversity. We need to make sure that we have the ecosystems and, and the habitats that have the potential to carry biodiversity for the future. Uh, we, have, we have the knowledge and, and experience in many countries on how to follow, how to monitor the development of, of key factors for landscapes or countries as a whole. In forestry, we have a long tradition of national forest inventories, and those can be adjusted and developed to fit the purpose of wider indicators. There's also a lot of experience in monitoring households and, and livelihoods at the local scale. And those experiences can be used as well. We're now closing a phase of the SDG developments. There has been the open working group of the General Assembly that has met eight times. And they've gone through all the topics that were raised in the Rio Plus 20 conference last year, actually two years ago. And uh, one of those topics were forests, but forests was only one of more than 30 topics. 
So that gives a good perspective on how we need to figure out a way for the importance of forests to appear across many other topics and not argue for a standalone SDG on forests because I don't think that will be productive um, or even politically possible.